In this video, we will be looking at how to manage stores when in the cockpit of the Mirage 2000C. We will briefly touch on permitted loadout permutations and limitations, the appropriate use of the fly-by-wire G limiter switch, the various switches, displays and functions of the PCA and PPA panels, the importance of the CNM switch, and how to jettison stores. Hello fellow virtual aviators, we are back in the beautiful and balletic Mirage 2000C and today, before we move on to weapons employment, we are going to cover weapons and stores management. We are high above the beautiful city of gardens, Shiraz, in ancient Persis, or more familiarly speaking, Iran, and we are going to look at the various cockpit controls and switches associated with managing your stores. The Mirage 2000C is a multi-role fighter. Primarily it is an interceptor with the secondary ground attack and interdiction responsibility. As such, its avionic systems have three master modes. Navigation, air-to-air -air, and air-to-ground. Unlike other airframes, however, such as the F-16 Viper or the AV-8B Harrier, the master mode is determined by what weapon you have or have not selected rather than having separate switches to place you in those modes. The Mirage 2000C has a variety of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground weaponry at its disposal. However, one of the limitations of the Mirage is that your loadout cannot be asymmetrical. Likewise, due to the nature of the Super 530D missiles control systems, you cannot load these semi-active radar-guided missiles with air-to-ground weapons. Fuel tanks can be mixed with any loadout, again so long as the loadout is symmetrical. The Mirage 2000C is a fly-by-wire aircraft, and there are safety systems in place to ensure that you do not pull manoeuvres which could damage your loaded stores. So the first thing we must consider when looking at stores management is protecting them. Your loadout will determine in which position you must place the fly-by-wire G limiter switch, found here on the left vertical panel. In general, if you have only air-to-air -air weapons on your pylons, this switch is set to A to A, air to air. Otherwise, it is switched to charge, the French word for stores, when you have bombs, rockets, or external fuel tanks loaded. The Mirage will let you know if it thinks you are in the incorrect mode by displaying CONF on the warning light panel. So I currently have an external fuel tank loaded, so my switch should be set to charge. But if I incorrectly set the limiter switch to A to A, you will see that on the warning panel I have the CONF caution light. The master caution light will also appear and after a few seconds an audible tone will sound until I either resolve the issue or mute the caution by pressing the master caution switch. So let's uh, adjust the fly-by-wire limiter to remove the caution light and set it back to charge. Weapon management in the cockpit is primarily conducted on three panels in the Mirage 2000C. The PCA, or the Poste de Commande d'Armement, or the Armament Control Panel, primarily handles weapon selection, master mode selection, and sub-mode operation. The PPA, the Poste de Préparation Armement, or the Armament Configuration Panel, primarily handles weapon parameters and delivery options and the left vertical panel, which contains some important switches. Another vital switch for weapon management is found on the rear of the throttle, the CNM switch, which is used to select your guns and infrared homing missiles, thereby overriding any pre-made decision made on the PCA. In my mind, this is similar to the dogfight switch found in other airframes, and has three positions, neutral, AA gun, and magic. I would certainly recommend you have this bound to your keyboard or HOTAS. 
The PCA contains your master arm switch, which acts as your primary safety. The switch must be set to arm when you fence in for any weapon to function. Unusually, the Mirage 2000C has a separate arm switch for the gun. This is found on the left vertical panel and should be moved to the up position before employing the gun. The PCA panel has two rows of 11 push switches, 10 of which have small LED displays. The top row selects various submodes, some of which we have already looked at in previous videos. The bottom row handles weapon selection, and in general all weapons apart from the gun and the Magic 2 missiles are selected on the PCA with the CNM switch set to neutral. Each store has a two or three character name, which when equipped are shown on the LED displays on the bottom row. Here I can see I have an air-to-air -air loadout. Uh, MAG stands for Magic Missiles, 530 stands for Super 530D Missiles, and RP stands for my favorite French phrase, Reservoir Pondulaire, or my external fuel tanks. I can see and verify my loadout at any time using the store's visualization switch on the other panel, the PPA. Moving the switch to Prez displays this delightful vector graphic on the VTB showing what I have loaded. So I can see that I have one reservoir pendulaire, one fuel tank, on the centerline pylon two magic missiles on the outer pylons, and two Super 530D missiles on the inner pylons. I also have 125 rounds left in each gun. To jettison a weapon or fuel tank, we use the selective jettison switch on the PCA. Raise the guard with a right click, and flip the switch below with another right click, and then you will find that only the stores will be displayed on the PCA. Select which store you wish to jettison with its selection button. So, for example, let's say I want to jettison my centerline fuel tank. Press the button, and S, standing for selection, will illuminate. When you are ready to jettison, press and hold the second stage of the trigger. Remember to return the guard after use, and please note that selective jettison will only function when your CNM switch is set to neutral. Having jettisoned my fuel tank, I now have an exclusively air-to-air -air loadout, so I am now in the incorrect fly-by-wire limiter setting indicated by the related caution. So let's correct that before we go any further by setting the limiter switch to air-to-air. -to -air. Notice also that even after jettisoning a store, it still appears on the PCA. However, if I switch over to store's visualization, the fuel tank is no longer shown. In an emergency, you can jettison all of your stores except any Magic 2 missiles you have loaded using the emergency jettison button on the left vertical panel. Okay, I have landed rearmed, and this time I have gone for an air to ground loadout. I can see that by the symbols on the PCA. I still have some magic missiles for self defense. If we bring up stores visualization, you'll see that it's very different this time. With regards to weapon selection, to select the gun, move the CNM switch to the AA gun position. The weapon selected is displayed on the left of the hood. If the weapon name abbreviation is flashing, this means that the weapon is not ready to be employed, and often this means that the master arm switch is set to safe. So let's resolve that. 
and you can now see that the symbology is steady. To select the Magic 2 IR guided missiles, move the C and M switch to the Magic position. All other weapon selections are made when the C and M switch is in the Neutral position, and are made on the PCA. So let's switch to Neutral. And let's select a weapon on the PCA by pressing its button. Selecting a weapon on the PCA like this will automatically place the Mirage into the appropriate master mode. And you can see selection is indicated when the S illuminates. Information on the specific application and use of weapons will be in future tutorials. Well, as ever, I hope that was useful for you in your preparation for learning about weapons employment. With continued thanks to my patron, the legendary Jan11, feel free to do the usual thing like subscribe, comment and share, but until next time, virtual aviators, I look forward to seeing you online in the skies. This is Reva saying, last call.